This was the scene at the Cowboys Rams joint practice Tuesday. Yep, helmets and fists flying all over the field in Oxnard, California. As for the Saints and Patriots, they took a different approach, one that consisted of using their hands to actually catch or knock away the football. And Fletcher Mackle tells us all about it. For the third time in five years, the Saints and the New England Patriots have a joint practice together. The teams met in Foxborough, Massachusetts in 2010 and 2012. They're now here at the Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia. All indications are the first practice Wednesday morning was a true success. I could tell you more about it, but I probably couldn't tell you as much as Drew Brees. So let's hear what he has to say about the workout. Iron sharpens iron. I mean, we, we have a chance to practice against the, the defending world champions and I know that that's gonna get us better and I know that they have the same mentality in going against us and the work Wednesday was great Sean Payton and Bill Belichick both seemed happy with their respective squads Tom Brady and Drew Brees both threw multiple touchdown passes now we weren't allowed to film the portions of practice when the Saints and the Patriots went head-to-head -head, but again lots of positives the biggest positive though the professionalism on Tuesday the Dallas Cowboys and the St. Louis Rams got into a nasty brawl at a joint workout. It was an ugly scene. Veterans here in West Virginia say you'll never see. The things that are going on around the league with the fights is just, it, honestly, it's just unnecessary stuff. I mean, I get it. You're in camp, you're hot, and you're frustrated. And, you know, especially these late, you know, dual practices when you're kind of getting to the end of it. But look, if, if you got two sides that understand what they're doing and, and understand that being professional means you're not out there to hurt guys, you're there to get better, then, uh, you know, you can have a practice like that that's successful. In recent NFL history, two of the biggest controversies are the Saints' bounty scandal in 2012 and the Patriots' deflate gate situation in 2015. So Sean Payton, who was suspended an entire season for his role in in cover-up of a bounty program, was asked if he can sympathize with Tom Brady and the Patriots. I won't comment on anything with regards to uh, New England situation and ours is behind us. We're focused. We got to find a way to improve as a team. And by all accounts, the Saints did improve today. The work with the Patriots was successful and there were several high points. Cam Jordan racked up two sacks on Tom Brady. You know, you have such a, uh, a, a quarterback of that status, so you know that he's going to get his whole line right. And for us to be able to go out there and uh, set the tempo today, that's what we were focused upon. The Saints wrap up the West Virginia portion of training camp on Thursday afternoon. They'll then travel on Friday back to New Orleans, play the Patriots in the Superdome on Saturday night. Training camp resumes next week at the team's facility on Airline Drive. Those workouts are free and open to the public. For now, though, on your side in West Virginia, Fletcher Mackle, WDSU News. All right, Fletcher, we saw a few Saints go down with injuries during the preseason that haven't been serious, but the same can't be said for the Panthers, who lost receiver Kelvin Benjamin for the season earlier today as he suffered a torn ACL in his left knee during one-on-one -on -one drills and a joint practice with the Dolphins. The second-year receiver out of FSU was Cam Newton's top target last season with 73 receptions, over 1,000 yards, and nine TDs. Without any contact, just kind of went down, so it was unfortunate. I mean, it, it's one of those things that could have happened in any drill. Uh, just unfortunately, it happened then. We saw the frustration from him and uh, from his teammates as well. You know, I think he went down last year um, as well. So, yeah, it's a tough thing. This, this is what this game offers, you know. It, you know sometimes it can be a lot of heartbreak in it. From Baton Rouge, star LSU safety Jalen Mills reportedly suffered a fractured fibula at practice this morning and is expected to miss four to six weeks. LSU Sports Information Director Michael Barnett did confirm Mills was injured, but never said the extent of the injury. Mills has started in 39 games in his career. He led the Tigers in tackles last season. Now his possible replacement could be former Destrehan star Ricky Jefferson, who had two interceptions last season. That'll do it for your sports. We'll be right back.